Okay, that was hard to play because I'm afraid to be too rough with this thing because um, previously when I was playing it, it started to uh, disintegrate on me. But what happened was uh, a few weeks ago I made a video and I was going to show you how to, to write a simple song. And I was uh, shooting for, let's say, a, a Russian or Slavic or Balkan sound, all right? And I called it exotic because I live in the United States and, and this sound is not native to my country. So I called it exotic. I wanted to explore some uh, scales and experiment with them. But I, I posted the video and then I deleted it. And the reason being is because uh, I invented another chord system and scale system. It's brand new and it's complicated and I thought, boy, I'm going to lose my audience. So I scrapped it. Now what we're going to do is quickly go back to this theme try to get like a, a Russian or a Balkan sound and even on this little accordion on this tiny accordion you can get some great stuff see there's more here than meets the eye so what I did was I picked a, a few very simple chords simple chords C minor now this is a traditional notation that you're used to seeing C minor G major F minor and they would call it D minor 7 flat 5. But that's horrible terminology. I don't use that. In my system, if you want to look at my other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. I would call it a C minor chord, a G major, an F minor. Then I would call it a D minor 7 with a diminished 5. You see, the traditional way is flat 5, which is crappy. And I would just call it a D minor 7 with a diminished 5. But even still, you can get those chords or something very, very close on this very limited bass. Now, when I say limited, you know, on an accordion, you have your treble machine this side, you have the mechanisms, you have the bass machine, you have this side, and in the middle you have the bellows. Well, there's only eight buttons here. You see, it would be called an eight bass machine button accordion, and there they are. Or some people would just say eight button accordion. And you see the four bass buttons, all right, only four. That's these, the four bass buttons. And then you have the four chord buttons. But those chords on this particular accordion, they can be an F major chord or F minor, C major or C minor, G major, G minor, D major or D minor. Hope I'm speaking correctly because I, I have a problem. Now, the reason being... The reason why you can get a major or minor chord is because in the chord inside here, the third, the tone at the third is missing. All right, so even though you have only eight bass machine buttons, you can do some fun stuff with this. You can still do fun stuff. Now, in my previous videos, I showed my systems, blah, 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 and you get probably get tired of hearing it. But in one of the videos, one of the series, call it Music Scales Revised, I talk about my own scale system. And in this video, number four, the eight-tone scale, I showed you some of my eight-tone scales. So for the, for the song I just played, I used scales that people are already familiar with, but I just give them a slightly different name. Now here's an example. I just played my very own C minor harmonic scale. The traditional name is harmonic minor. It's backwards. And I, and I, you could just call it a C minor scale if you want to. You could just say, okay, that's a C minor scale. You could say, oh, I've seen that scale before. And here it is. All right. All right, and down here we have a, uh, what I call the G harmonic minor two scale. And the traditional name, one of the traditional names would be Phrygian dominant, which is horrible. And, and you say, but who cares what the name is? You say, I recognize that scale. I've seen that before. All right? So I've chosen a C minor scale, one of the C minor scales to go with my C minor chord. I have here a, a G, basically a G minor scale. You could just say minor to go with my G major chord. And then I chose a beforehand. I chose what I call the F minor scale. And that would be traditionally called the F minor scale. And you're, you're probably familiar with that. And then I chose a D, what I call in my system, 
D minor two augmented scale. So if you studied this, you'd say, oh, that's, you would say, oh, that's just another D minor scale. I don't know why he uses those goofy names. Well, I use them for a reason, because in my scale system, from my previous videos, I show you clearly how my scales are made of two, four note groups. There's, there's a scale phrase, that's what I call it, and you have your second scale phrase. You put them together and you get a scale. So in this scale, I put a minor scale phrase, I put it together with a harmonic scale phrase, and naturally I got my C harmonic, my, my C minor harmonic scale. It makes a lot of sense to me. And I did the same with all the other ones. And the reason why I deleted the other videos is because I discovered a way, I discovered a way of how in other words, instead of teaching the student what to play, I came up with a little quick system of figuring out what not to play. Now, in this case, you see here, I'll, just, I'll do this briefly, with this scale, all right, I discovered that you really shouldn't play any of the notes, all right, any of the notes or tones, whatever you want to call it, of the A major chord. <clears throat> now, I won't go into that system because people get bored. People stop watching me if I talk too much. And then also I discovered with this G harmonic minor scale, which you would probably just call a G minor scale, <coughs> excuse me, that you also shouldn't play the tones of the A major chord, see? And also the B flat doesn't fit in. I won't go into detail. I don't want to get too crazy here. And also with the F minor scale, I discovered, ah, oh, you shouldn't play the tones of the A ma major chord. You see that there? I discovered that. And then the same with the D minor scale, whatever you want to call it. You can use my name or you can use traditional, doesn't matter. You don't play the notes or the, or the tones of the A major chord. Now I hope I'm speaking correctly because this is valuable stuff. So I have, I have my, my easy chords that I chose. All right, easy. This, this might be a little tough for a beginner, but I'll explain it. Easy chords, and then I chose some scales. And even if you don't use my scale names, you're surely going to see these scales somewhere out there. You're going to see them out there. And so I just start taking the chords, let's say C minor, because remember this can be a major or a minor. And you add the scale. When I was playing the song, I started out with this F sharp. That's to create two things. Dissonance, little little gnarly sweetness, and this tone, all right, is kind of used as kind of a suspension tone. It naturally it naturally wants to resolve to this G. And it has to do with the harmonic series, which I already talked about. I ain't going there. I'm, but it's kind of a suspension tone. And it has a kind of uh, dissonant sweetness. Now see right there, all I did was use this little F sharp for my gnarly. And then I just start playing the tones. I just start playing the tones of that first scale that I chose. I just practice it for a few minutes. And, and there you have almost most of your melody actually. See like this. Let's start out with your with your weird tone. Now we use the scale tones. You see when you get to that G chord, you just switch to the notes of the, the scale that goes with it, and boom, you're done. C minor, G major, watch this. Now G. You see? And then it goes on and on. You can do the F minor thing, the, the, the F minor 
a chord with the F minor scale tones. That's a nice sound for a tiny accordion. And then C. C minor, that is. And the D. The D minor 7 diminished 5 I play with the D bass. D bass. And the F minor chord button. Or on here it would be minor or major, either way. Hold on, i got to pick up my paper. Now, that D minor 7 with the diminished 5th on my big accordion, all right, my Atlas 120 bass machine button accordion, I would play that with the D bass and the F minor actual button on that larger accordion. But on this 8 button accordion, okay, I can just use the D bass, the D bass here, and then the F major chord button because this can be an F major or minor. So I, all I need to do is play the D bass and the F chord button and I get that. Now graphically you could say well you could say technically it's not really a D minor 7 with the diminished fifth. You, you could say it's a D minor 7 with no fifth because the the fifth, the A flat is missing. Now, if you get confused, watch this. Here's what I just said. On the big accordion, the 120 bass machine buttons, right, you would have your F minor chord button right here. Then you would have that D bass, and you would have a D minor 7 with the diminished 5. This is the diminished 5. But with the little bitty 8 button accordion, all right, with hardly any buttons, all right, hardly any buttons. You don't get the A flat because it's missing. It's not there. But you get your D bass. All right. So technically speaking, you would have a D minor seven. That N means no five. This is my my chord notation system. All right. So you see, there's no third in the F major chord button on this little accordion. Now you see that there, the difference. But you still basically get the same sound. And it's still really pretty. So ultimately what I'm trying to say is you can take a little accordion and if the thirds are missing on the chord button row you can play all kinds of good stuff. C minor here, G major, F minor, C minor, and then that D minor 7 with no fifth and then you just play with it. fool around. And all I did was play the notes on that scale, that chart I showed you. I don't think you don't have to be a genius to do this. And then for the G chord, you got throw in the F-sharp for sweetness. And then the final chord I do, this weirdo chord. Which we won't talk about. So thank you for being incredibly patient. And just in case you want to uh, take a look at this, if you want to stop your video, pause it, or print screen, these are the, the scales with my name that I use in my system, traditional name, my name, traditional, and traditional names are crappy, by the way. 
I show you what notes to not play, and I even have an explanation why you don't play them, but you can study this on your own. I would have to make three or four videos to explain my new system that shows what not to play. So there you go, there's one. And I play all these notes, I, I, that's all I do. Copy them off the paper. And here's the other one. My name, there's a traditional name, they would call it Dorian mode. And here's uh, my name, I don't know what the traditional name would be. And then I show you what not to play over here. And boom, you're done. I know that took a while, but there's a lot of good stuff I wanted to share because there's more hair with these little bitty toys than meets the eye. Thank you for being incredibly patient, and good night.